Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some player reviews. I haven't done one of these in ages now, uh, but finally we're back and you guys may recognize him. He's a bit of a familiar face on my YouTube channel. Um, I did a video on him in FIFA 12, but I kind of feel as though people have forgotten about him. I've looked at a few Bundesliga sides and uh, I, in, uh, in honesty, I just haven't seen him appear and I'm not entirely sure why. So I'm going to talk a little bit about him, his pros, his cons, everything about him in this video today. So let's start off with some of the traits that he has. He uh, argues with the officials. Um, he is a late crosser. That can be interpreted as a good or a bad thing. Um, he, his, he's a technical dribbler, and that is one of the biggest things that I like about him. His dribbling is just immense. Um, he's got the flair trait, so that means he can pull off skills like the Rabona, I believe. And, um, you know, that's always cool. These small little things when you do the fancy flick pass, he might do some, something a little different. And he's a long shot taker. His long shots, it, well, just his shot in general is uh, really powerful. But I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, as this video goes on. Um, there's a few things. I'm going to be showing some goals in this and uh, just want to talk a little bit about him and uh, where I like to play him and how I like to use him in this game. Um, some of the prices for this, now these are very average and uh, if anything there might be a couple hundred coins difference, but um, Xbox is 800, PS3 850 and the PC 1230. It tends to be that the PC is always the most expensive. Um, the card weight is medium and uh, I'm expecting a lot of comments like, uh, what do you mean by card weight? Uh, that's a question I got a lot back in FIFA 12 when I did these player reviews. Um, what that means is that um, it's how often they appear in packs. So if you have a heavy card weight, that means they're going to appear quite frequently in packs. Medium means, you know, he's not a rare card, but he's also not in every other pack, if that makes sense. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, the So, yeah, very similar sort of prices. Then we have the graphs. You guys might want to blow this up a little bit if you can't exactly read it. But uh, this is usually I put in a graph to show you guys the trends. Maybe the player's value has suddenly start to ri ri rise or for whatever reason. But um, for me, uh, he's, he's very stable along this. Um, as you guys can see on the PS3, it's always just that little bit more expensive. And uh, this graph is from a different website. So um, I'll link that website in the description. But that's why the averages uh, might not be quite in tune with the graph but uh you know they're very close and uh, should do the job it's more just to let you guys know that he's at a stable price so uh, it's not like his price is rising or his price is dropping or anything like that um and i'll tend to use it, it the graph is more useful when it comes to informed players when their prices tend to fluctuate quite a bit more but let's talk a little bit about him so um Arnautov arnautovic's biggest strengths is his immense shooting and his strength um he can literally bully defenders off him. I actually find it very hard for people to actually get him off the ball. Um, he's got four-star skills, so that also makes it much easier. You know, the Ronaldo chop to get around certain defenders. And uh, I just find him... Uh, really good across short distances as well. Um, you'll uh, he only has 80 pace, but across short distances he is really good. Um, so you know the short uh, burst in pace to get past one defender is really good. Although if you're looking to do like some of the unrealistic stuff on FIFA where you literally arc around some of the defenders, it's just not going to work. But um, I'd imagine most of you guys are good enough not to uh, rely on having to arc around certain players. Um, for me, Arnautovic is just an animal. He really is. His shot is so powerful in this game. It really. Um, that, that's probably, you know, the biggest thing for me. Um, I get a little bit lucky there with that goal, but um, his dribbling also is really quite strange. Now, um, I'm not too sure about the technical dribbler trait, but I feel as though that's the reason why he's so good at dribbling, because his dribbling stats aren't necessarily um, amazing. They're good dribbling stats, but they're not amazing. But he feels, uh, his dribbling feels so much better than some of the other um, players I've used with higher dribbling stats than him. So I can only imagine that it's because he has that technical dribbler trait. And um, I think that... Uh, overall, he's very solid. He's also quite a tall guy, so you know if you're wanting to, um, if you if you play more on the wings, you play maybe a um, four three two one, and you'd like to have Arnautovic as a striker, then you can do that because uh, you, he is still uh, capable of crossing it in. And there was a bit of a fail, uh, but fortunately for me, it ended up becoming a penalty. And um, Arnautovic is the biggest thing about him is his shot power, so that's why I like to put him on the penalty spot. Assuming you're good at getting it in the little green bar, his penalties are just um, tremendous. Uh, I tend to put it down the middle, just over the keeper's head because it's just sheer power and uh, pace of the ball that gets it into the back of the net so um this player overall very good you know he is cheap as well i know you guys enjoy the cheaper players i'll be doing some informed player reviews as well but um honestly guys i want to see this player in some bundesliga squads unfortunately though um he isn't from a nationality which is um really good for making squads but uh, if you guys are building a bundesliga side or um 
have a, you need to get nine chemistry on a Wolfsburg player or something like that, then uh, he is literally the perfect man for you. If you guys are interested in, uh, I can't even speak right now. If you guys are interested in seeing the squad that I used him in, then do let me know because honestly, this guy is just so, so great and I really enjoy using him. And uh, he's him and uh, Inform Royce are probably my favorite uh, Bundesliga players at the moment for me. Uh, Gertz is also quite good. But uh, yeah, like I said, if you'd like to see this my German League squad, then uh, do let me know. I'm more than happy to a squad builder for you guys but um please leave your comments on Arnautovic I know I did him in FIFA 12 but in FIFA 13 he's just as good and just as amazing so I'd recommend him to literally all of you guys hope you all have a cracking day and I'll see you all around bye bye